Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today we're going to go over another layer style called the Inner Shadow. And I'll uh, start from scratch and uh, show you guys how it works and what it's all about. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and draw out a custom shape, and uh, this will be the best way to uh, show you how this Inner Shadow works. And uh, pick something that has... Um, some some uh like transparency in between it to this this will best show you or you can also pick anything but i mean the best way for me to show you was with uh my bad was to show you with something with some transparency in between it and you'll see why in a second so let's go to our um layer styles and inner shadow I'll bring this over here and you can see that the inner shadow brings out a shadow on the insides wherever the angle of light is coming from and it makes your image look a little more realistic and have some more character or character to it so here you got your blending modes and since this is a shadow you want to use the darkening modes like dark and multiply color burn linear burn or darker color and then you also probably want to pick a darker color to uh, um, use as your actual shadow. Below that is the uh, opacity here um, to uh, just check out your transparency on there. Um, here is the angle, and this is the angle that the light is going to come from. So if you put the angle going up, your shadow is going to be on that side. So you can see if I move the angle on the other side, the shadow is going to be on the other side. Um, we've got use global light over here. And then these uh, distance, choke, and size actually affect uh, how the shadow, what the shadow looks like. So we got distance here is the distance off from the actual image here. And you can see that is moving the purple part instead of the actual shadow. And if you go too much, it looks stupid. So just bring, uh, only have it a little bit so it actually looks decent. I'll go to reset to default. Five, I guess, was okay. And uh, then we we'll, then we can mess with the choke, and that increases like kind of like the depth. And if you put it up a little higher, it gives you like a 3D kind of feel, which is kind of cool. We got size here, which is gonna do the size of it. And you can see here what it does. If I bring it up, if I bring it up too high, it pretty much just goes away. And then we've got the quality here, which is um, has the contour in it. And the contour is like the brightness. So we got some, we got some uh, different types of contours going on here. And you can just pick a bunch of these at, or some of these, and it'll give you different looks to your um, inner shadow. And then we've got anti-alias, which uh, gives you a, a nice um, smoother shadow. And then we've got our noise here that gives you a noisier shadow and adds like green and stuff like that. So that's it for the layer style called inner shadow. Um, and uh, ho hopefully you guys are now pros at using the inner shadow. So thanks a lot for uh, watching the tutorial and be sure to check out next time where we go over the inner glow. So see you that on that tutorial and have a good one everybody.